Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a statement delivered on April 17, 2024, Greek Defense Minister Nikos Dendias reignited discussions surrounding the enhancement of Greece's air defense capabilities, a topic that has long been under consideration among military leaders. The renewed urgency behind this discourse follows the impressive performance demonstrated by Israel's Iron Dome system against hostile missiles and rockets, particularly in light of recent global conflicts. Minister Dendias underscored the imperative nature of this development, emphasizing, considering the lessons drawn from the conflict in Ukraine, it is paramount for us to establish a combined anti-aircraft and anti-drone system. He unveiled plans to develop a system modeled after Israel's advanced Iron Dome, aimed at safeguarding Greece from aerial threats. Greece boasts a diversified arsenal within its primary air defense system, comprising a strategic combination of indigenous and internationally sourced weaponry. At the forefront of this defense architecture are interceptor aircraft from the Hellenic Tactical Air Force headquarters, renowned for their speed and agility in responding to air incursions, thus ensuring vital air superiority. Among the key components of Greece's air defense system is the S-300, a long-range Russian-origin surface-to-air missile system boasting a formidable reach of up to 150 kilometers, enabling it to effectively target high-altitude threats. This system is complemented by the American Patriot System, renowned for its proficiency in defending against ballistic missiles and aircraft, with an operational range extending up to 160 kilometers. Additionally, Greece's defense apparatus incorporates the American Hawk System, renowned for its medium-range air defense capabilities effective at medium altitudes, and capable of engaging targets within a range of up to 50 kilometers. The French Crotal system adds to the array of defenses with its rapid deployment capabilities and proficiency in intercepting low-altitude targets within a range of 15 kilometers. On the Russian front, the Tor M1 and OSAAK systems serve as close defense solutions, specialized in neutralizing low and very low-altitude threats. The Tor M1, with a range of approximately 12 kilometers, offers versatile defense against various aerial threats, including drones and cruise missiles. Furthermore, portable stinger systems, operated by ground troops, provide a final layer of defense against low-flying aircraft, boasting a range of approximately 8 kilometers. In parallel to these existing defense systems, Minister Dendias outlined plans for a secondary system specifically tailored to counter unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. This system incorporates non-mobile soft-kill measures such as long-distance target tracking and electronic jamming capabilities aimed at disrupting UAV communications. Additionally, plans are underway to integrate GPS jamming capabilities, with future enhancements slated to include kinetic strike capabilities for a more proactive defense posture. Looking ahead, Dendias proposed the integration of these two systems into a comprehensive air defense network, aimed at fortifying Greece's defensive capabilities and providing a robust protective umbrella against emerging aerial threats. As Greece continues to prioritize the modernization and enhancement of its defense infrastructure, the exploration of advanced air defense systems reflects a proactive approach towards ensuring national security in an evolving geopolitical landscape. That's all for now. See you later.